much as I am someone's mom, I still have to be someone's partner as well. So I still need to give Abby his attention. I still need to give Pila attention. And I was struggling. I was struggling. It takes a lot from you emotionally. It takes a lot from you physically. It takes a lot from you. Yungindo, the stationary list is a pandemic on its own but it it doesn't take away from the fact that being a parent is the best thing ever hello guys and welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you are new here welcome my name is pila and please do not forget to subscribe and also click on the bell so that you will get a notification whenever i upload a new video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch another video and thank you so much for sticking around even though i went am i a but anyways you guys still stuck around and i really do appreciate and yeah so i am gonna try to be consistent i am gonna try to give you guys content after content after content after content um just show how much i appreciate you guys and please also do support me by number one liking my videos so for example this video please kindly like it it will motivate me to create more content it will also motivate me to do better because i'll see that you guys are actually appreciating the little effort that i'm putting like the video and also comment guys just to motivate me to give you more content you know it is very very motivating when you are putting out content and people are actually responding all right let me stop blah, 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 blah. let me stop talking a lot and get right into the video so today's video is about motherhood or parenthood i'll just say parenthood so as most of you guys know that i am a mom of one if you didn't know now you know i am a mom of one i have a 14 year old son Yep, I am a mom to a teenager. I was a mom at a young, I don't know if I should say a young age because I was 19. Yeah, I'll just put it like that. Being a young mom made, it forced me to mature faster because now I knew that I had a human that I brought into this world and I needed to now level up in every way that I could. I needed to level up. I needed to level up financially. I needed to, to level up spiritually. I needed to level up. My son was my motivation. When I feel like I am not energy to go on anymore or I can't do certain things, I'll just think of him and then I'm back again. I'm like, whoop, baby girl, you can't drop the ball. You cannot drop the ball, baby girl, because you have a baby boy that you need to take care of. Beginning of the year, um, our son started staying with us, us being me and my husband. So before, um, he used to stay with my mom. So this year, because he was starting high school, we decided that, you know what, this boy needs to come and stay with us now so that we can just make sure that we have a close relationship with him and we'll be able to guide him like closer, you know, because as young parents will see things that my mom would not see because these kids are so sly. So he came to stay with us permanently. We're so excited that um, we forgot that there are certain challenges that we will face with that change. To be honest with you, I was overlooking a lot of things. I didn't know the work that comes with being a parent because I saw how my mom was just doing it easily with three kids. And I just thought, ah, one child, I will not even suffer that much. It's just going to be easy. It's going to be a breeze. It's going to be this and that. Next, 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 next. But anyways, so the first obstacle was actually getting a school for him because um, they have this system, Yoguchi. They first accommodate people that stay within the Gauteng province. And then after that, then they will open up for application. Uh, applications for children that are schooling outside of Gauteng. Okay, cool. We did the application via the the the, the Department of um, Education and everything, and they placed him in a school that is 
over 30 kilometers away from us a shady ass school excuse my language they placed them in a shady 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 school and i was like nope luckily enough we had a second option there was another school that had already accepted him but it was like a second option i was like ah if all fails i'm actually going to take him to that school okay cool so um we had that option and were able to then enroll him on the second option school all right and the first week they opened like a week before other schools and stuff so number one i never knew how hectic the beginning of a, a school term is i never knew i was like downplaying it because as i said i saw how my mom was doing it and i would see how other parents were doing it and i thought it was just like ah it's a breeze and i never experienced it i never expected what hit me having a child comes with adjusting and adjusting guys is difficult and it takes a lot from you it takes a lot from you emotionally it takes a lot from you physically it takes a lot from you it takes a lot from you when the school term opened we had to sort out stationery <laughs> hey i share my soft lanes i knew things were expensive but i didn't think things were that expensive i never thought that i would actually buy stationery that is almost 2k for stationery almost 2k for stationery like i never experienced i'm not gonna lie and then after buying the stationery and hold on like do these schools even think about us though when they're writing all these stationery lists because wow the stationery list is a pandemic on its own we bought the stationery now i have to cover books guys i thought ah, it's gonna be one two one two never that it was never that i covered the books a whole lot of books i was exhausted like i was finished i was done i was tired af i was so tired my back was so like i was even angry and i was like like how does my mom do this though i keep on referencing my mom because this experience made me appreciate her even more made me appreciate the job that she has been doing and i mean i thought that uh -uh. so if now your kids are staying with the grandparents please do appreciate them guys because honestly it's, it's not easy time wise right so i'm used to sleeping late i'm one of the people that sleep very very late because i am more productive at night and as Ganjani, I don't know how and when this started, but I feel like I'm more productive at night because it's so quiet. There's less distractions, like there's less things that will distract me. So I'm able to push my work faster and do more at night compared to during the day. So now as a person that used to sleep around 3 a.m., I couldn't sleep around 3 a.m. anymore because now I have to be awake. I have to be awake in the morning, make sure that my boy is awake, make sure that he has lunch, I have to prepare his lunch, I have to go drop him at school, and then there's traffic. By the time I come back, like, for some weird reason, my body just did not want to sleep. For the, f like, for the first few weeks, when I'd come back from dropping him, I wouldn't be able to sleep. My mind would just wander off. I'd start thinking and overthinking and, and all of that. And I wasn't able to sleep. So with that being said, I didn't sleep enough. And when you don't sleep enough, a lot of things go wrong with your body and with yourself. Now, my sleeping arrangements need to change. My sleeping arrangements need to change. And therefore, I need to now start formulating a new routine. And it is so difficult formulating a new routine. When your body is used to something, it is so hard for you to adjust to something new. Um, I have to make sure his homework is done, check his homework, assist if he needs any assistance. I still needed to cook. I still needed to go to gym because I felt like that's where... I would get my sanity because i was losing it i i was honestly losing it and certain days i couldn't go to gym because i was just 
exhausted. But the messed up part is, as exhausted as I was, I just couldn't sleep. And I was like, hey, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a witchcraft because what the hell? My body is tired, but I couldn't sleep. And with that being said, guys, remember, I still need to be someone's partner. As much as I am someone's mom, I still have to be someone's partner as well. So I still need to give hubby his attention. I still need to give Pila attention and I was struggling. I was struggling. Like this one morning, I was just going through it. That I was on that moment. It would be hey. I oh man, this is not the when I grow up that I ordered. This is not it. They give me a wrong order. This is not the when I grow up that I ordered. I was feeling like that. And I did a video on my Instagram. I did a story and I was just expressing how I was feeling at that time. If you are not following me on Instagram, make sure that you do. To my surprise, I bo and my girls I go. So there was a lot of traction from from that story. Like a lot of people started talking and say, yo, yeah, zing it this one. People started sharing their experiences. And it made me notice that we as parents, we go through a lot, we're going through the most people by a Kobisha. and um this one morning um on metro they were talking about parenthood and i was like you know these people it was just right on time because i needed to hear that because sometimes when you're going through something you want to feel looty you're not the only one you understand so with metro they were talking about it and um callers were calling in people were expressing how they feel about parenthood how hard and how difficult and i actually felt better it's like oh can't it's color spanning it's color spanning you know i'm calling you it's color spanning it's color spanning it's color spanning i'm going to be a color i'm calling you on color spanning Thank you so much for watching guys unfortunately i had to cut the video here because um i felt like it was just too long for my liking and i had to cut it into two parts so i will be uploading part two soon i hope you really really enjoyed the video and please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you'd like to drop anything on the comment section please feel free to do so bye